Hi guys, so today I have something totally different uh, to review for you. These items were sent to me from the company Faux Memo, free of charge for a review. And um, it is a personal printer. So I was very curious about this. A lot of people are using these for like their bullet journals and other tags and things like that. And it basically will print stickers for you. And what's cute is that they do have refills that are colored. Like this one has like a pattern. It does print in black and white, basically black. Uh, print and it does not require ink so it's like a thermal printer or it is a thermal printer <laughs> so uh thank you for my most uh, for saying this for my review um there will be links in the description box if you click on my link to their site you get 10 percent off automatically the whole site and if you go to amazon um you can use i believe vna 10 for 10 percent off um their items so just uh it'll be in the description box there so let's open her up so basically it is this is ios android bluetooth and it has lithium battery let's see what is in the package and then we will try it out so i thought this is really fun um i'm trying to keep up on my journal the new journal i showed you guys probably in december t time frame um but sometimes I forget. <laughs> so this might add a little more fun for it to, to it. Uh, really nice packaging. It reminds me of like a new phone package. Very nice and sturdy. Um, so we have the user manual and you have where the paper comes up. You have a power button, the USB interface, paper exit, power button, um, let's say power button from before, and then open cover switch. So you can switch out your, um, your paper or whatever you're using your scroll. So there are different power indicators. The light is steady, then your it's charging is completed. Uh, slow flashing while it's charging. Fast flashing fault out of paper or overheating. And then fast flashing could also mean a low battery. So it has different information there for you. Um, it says to fully charge battery before using the first time. Turn on the machine, press and hold the power button for three seconds. Turn on Bluetooth. So I'm going to power it up, but let's go ahead and open it before I start playing with it. We have our little cord here which is basically how you're going to charge it. Um, I don't believe it has a charging base, but I mean, I have tons of them from different phones and other products, so that's not a problem. And also I have that Amazon um, charging base that has just USB ports, so you put that in there and do this. Really cute. I love this, it looks like a postcard or letter from overseas. So you can switch that button there to open it up. I was just gonna show you the inside. There it has a scroll that we're gonna have to open up, obviously, to get it through the feeder here but what I'm going to do for right now is go ahead and just plug this in and let it charge up like they said before we move on so basically well, let me show you real quickly this goes in here your micro USB and this goes into your charging port okay I just plugged it in as you can see it is flashing so it does need some charging so I'll wait till this turns a solid color and then we know it's charged up in the meantime let's go ahead and download the okay, app. So Last night I had my husband uh, get the app from the app store because he can use his finger to access it. We always forget the password. So I have my daughter's iPad and um, I just went to the app store and I mean, you can check that out yourself. Let me see if I can. And of course it's in the Google store also. And you just search for a phone memo, P-H-O-M-E-M-O -M -E and <laughs> or for some reason it's not connecting there we go um and it's right there and you just click it and it downloads for free so i have not opened it yet though so let's try this out i'm gonna clean this thing off while i'm waiting here okay oopsie uh, let's see. Okay, so the model... Oh, that's a good question. The model number that I have here, I believe, is the M025. But let's see. M025. They do have different models. So, it's already here. So, let's, uh, that's the model I'm using. And then you can do Label Workshop to find out a little bit about it. Uh, that's suitable for bullet journals and family storage. There's... Um, templates, there's microprint, there's a toolbox, and then you print your images, you can scan images, or you can scan things. Um, so these are all obviously a little more advanced, so um, I'm going to click on Labor Workshop, and you can change the mode that you're looking at it in, which, which is fine. This is very intuitive, the way they set this up. And so we have name stickers, we have gift creation, so let me click on name stickers. 
so it says Tom right now, but um, yeah, I just press on it and you can um, get rid of that. And then let's say insert text, um, VNA. <laughs> Uh, and that's it. So let's just, and you can change the font, um, the sizes of it, you can change the style, you can underline, you can board, uh, bold it, italics. That's really cute. So for right now, I guess that's the one I have, and it looks like there's other ones to download. Add more. No, I'm just going to go back. Nope. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, I don't want it anymore, so let's just say we're done. And then I would click print, but it's charging right now, so I don't want to do that, so that's really easy. Save this draft, nope. Uh, let's see, gift creation. You can also, again, type out, it says best wishes for you, but uh, you can, oh, let's say select border so we can see what that looks like. There's none right now, but they do have different borders you can put on it. That's really cute, very, very easy to use. Wow. So I'm just kind of playing with it right now, but once the uh, item is all charged up, we will then go do that. Let's see what Cartoon... Oh, Cartoon has some cute stuff. Oh, I should have probably gotten rid of the other one, but there it goes. Okay, best wishes for you. Just because that's what's already typed in there, I didn't mess with it. Look at the little cat. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my goodness. This is fun. I'm going to have to do one of these so we can see what this looks like. Look at the little guy. Oh, that is adorable. Okay. So, um, how do I get out of this, though? Oh, you can also make it larger down here, it looks like. So that's nice. Um, okay, I just want to get out, so I'm just going to go back. Save this draft, nope. And then from Label Workshop, oh, well, you know what, let me click on Label Workshop again, because there are other tabs I didn't notice. That was Creation. We have uh, DIY Life, uh, Food Expiry Mark, there's Cosmetics Mark, so like how many days from when you open it, or dates, or whatever you might want to put on there. Uh, parenting has Food Instruction, Baby Care Classification. Home has Charging Plug Wire Marks, uh, Storage Box Classification, so if you want to make labels for your boxes, stuff like that. Um, and then, let me see what New does. New is just, apparently, whatever you want. So you can select the board, you can insert text, you can insert a sticker. Let's do insert sticker since we haven't seen that yet. And this is a good way of just printing out a sticker. This is uh, accessories. It has a bunch of cute little items. There's skincare, like little pictures. Oh, that's so cute with the different items. Kitchen, adorable. Oh, look at parent child. We have some cute little things and then oh there's more and more guys <laughs> you can keep going left to right and swapping through these are funny let's say we did that guy so that would be the sticker that I print and uh, you can also put words and the stickers um, however you like studied oh I see even if I just that's what it is it's going through the different types uh, as I go left to right and a little toilet paper roll that's so cute the unlocked heart uh, lock super cute lots of items on here so let's go back Um, we have templates. Let's click on templates. My goodness, this is just tags that you can make for today to do. So these are the kind of things that you probably want for your bullet journal. You can write like inside little um, body here. So cute. There's a fine line, normal and thick. But I don't see too much of a difference, but maybe it didn't catch up. Um, really cute things in here. To-do lists. My goodness, this thing has a lot going on. Uh, frame, which is adorable. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. You can just print that straight out or you can, again, type into it. If you want to go to print, you just go to print here. Um, if I say, what is this to do? I guess this is a to-do list. I don't know. I don't have pets, but <laughs> take Fido <laughs> to Groomer. There we go. Um, I think that's it for that. Um, and then you can print it again. Uh, let me see what this says. Okay. You can save it also if it's something that you do often. You can save your uh, little file. Super cute the little cats here. Schedule. You can print out. Oh my gosh. Those tiny little calendars. 
This is super adorable. Um, let's see here. Microprint. Long copy and paste here after copying. So that's an interesting option, but I don't have anything to cut and paste right now, so we'll leave that there. Then we have our toolbox with a banner and a ruler. I guess how you want to change those things up, maybe, as you're um, looking at your display. Um, and then let me see what scan is about. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I don't know that I have anything for this to scan. Let me see. We would like to access the camera. Okay. Um, I don't have anything... <laughs> Uh, that amazing to scan. Oh, you know what? I have a candy right here. So let's say you see that's there and I have the scanner. And then there's a button here to press. So I'm going to press that just to see what happens. Okay, so I took a picture. And I'm going to say, okay. You can rotate it and manipulate it. And look, it turns into a black and white something that we can print out. Oh my gosh. And you can change the, um, the scan enhancement, but that was fine where it was. You can erase, you can clean it up, and you can save it, it looks like, or just go right to print. Wow. Okay, well, when this thing charges up, we're gonna get going. Okay, I think it's done charging, and like I said, I just put it in a, this is a port, I think, from a Kindle, possibly, or a Samsung, I don't know, Kindle, yeah. So, we'll unplug that. And before I turn on or anything like that, we're gonna get the paper set correctly, because right now it's in here, but it is not, um, in place. Now let me see if the instructions say anything about how to do so, but it looks pretty straightforward. It looks like we're just going to bring it up over this way, but uh, paper replacement. Okay, we already opened it by pushing that uh, button there. And place the paper roll into the printer and straighten the paper as shown in the picture above. So basically it's going to roll from the bottom out. So it's already set in here the correct way, but let's just, we have to remove this piece here. I do want to see about removing this because um, we are going to switch it out. I'll try the print, the colored paper for you guys. Actually, I'm not even sure if this has patterns. I think the box has patterns. Sorry. I'm like, this is pattern paper, but it might just be plain paper. So we'll see about that. They do have pattern papers um, on their website. So I'm just going to remove this. Oopsie. And we can take the whole thing off, but basically we're just going to leave it just to make sure we're okay here. I'm gonna take this off completely. Sorry about that. And in case um, these are just plain papers and not printed papers, um, all you're gonna do when you go to replace it later is you pull this out and remove this and then put the new one on, right? And there is, you're gonna be able to follow the guide there to do it, just so that they're both facing the same way these little pointy edges. All right, let's put this back in here. And all we're gonna do is bring this paper forward just to the front. Oh. <laughs> and close that up. I believe that is it. So let's turn this on. I don't know I'm sure how long you have to hold it down to turn it on, so let's see. There it goes. All right, so I'll put some of these things to the side and let's make sure the Bluetooth is on on your um, iPad or your phone, whatever is it you're using. <laughs> you hear it's making a little sound. That is really cute, okay. And I still haven't really decided what we want to use, but let me make sure my Bluetooth is on and, and it is. And I'm not sure if it's just gonna find it or if I have to ch check my settings. So let me check the settings really quickly. And of course, this is, uh, you know, as far as what your phone does or your iPad does, let me go in here before I show off this stuff here. Um, click on Bluetooth. And right now it's discovering other devices. So I'm gonna let this find it, the device if that's what it needs to do and I'll be right back. Okay, it's still kind of thinking, but it does say in the instructions to go ahead and just choose the device in the app. So I'm going to open the app again. I'm going to put this to the side. Hopefully we can see both things at the same time. And um, I want to do a scan because I think that's fun. Oh, you know what? I just did this as a review. So maybe we can scan something like that just to try it out. So I'm going to click scan. And wait for this to come up. Oh, actually... Okay, there we go. And hopefully you can kind of see, I know it's hard, actually I need to move this. It's because my 
camera is down lower. Uh, let's just say that that's what I want to scan. And I'm going to press the uh, photo button, this button down here. And I'm going to say it's okay. And look at that. So fun. Now, let's see how I don't want to mess with this at all. No, we want it just that dark is fine. You can clean it up, you can erase, you can do all kinds of other things. But let's say I want to print. And the printer would be the M025, which would be this little guy, and hopefully it'll go there. And I'm clicking on print again after it found it, I guess. And there's different lines. It's on medium. I'm just going to leave it there. And then one, and that's fine. And you can also change, I believe, the sizes of the thing you're printing here. But I'm just going to say uh, print. Oh my gosh. That couldn't be easier. You might say, what do you want this for? I just took a picture. Obviously, it's not the most crisp thing because of the image of what I used. But check that out. And then we can rip it off. And I can let Miranda color it in or draw with it. It's kind of reminds me of when you go to the post office and they print stamps for you. It's basically the same kind of thing. Let me try a few other things. So we did a scan and you saw the, um, the other item I had scanned that worked really well, the little uh, candy box. So let's go back. So I didn't have to connect it with Bluetooth there. I could just find it in the app, which is really convenient. Um, you can print images. I don't know what kind of images are in here. They're probably pictures of my daughter, so I don't really want to click that yet because um, she uses this phone, uh, this phone, this iPad all the time. Sorry, really quick, one last thing, you know, we went through all these different things, is if you click down here on graphic, um, there are just a ton of images you can just print, which are really fun. You can color them in, you can leave it the way it is, but I was, um, I, I forgot to mention that graphic button. I really want to come back and talk about it because it's such cute things. I mean, look at all these different images, like... Let me close up a little bit. That's under festival, but comic has the um, really cute items there. And then basics are just little things you can write on. Um, and I was going through this, I'm like, this is too cute. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes and yes. So they have very cute, very trendy little things on here. There's a blank one you can write in what you like. Um, different stuff. The character ones are adorable. I mean, look at this little guy. Oh my gosh. So lots of different options to go um, and choose from. Lots of different things we can print out and customize, add text and things like that. Um, let's do the, um, let me click on templates. And I want to do to-do lists because I thought that was really cute, especially for your uh, bullet journals and stuff like that. So to-do list right up here. And I, let me put the whole, oh, there we go. Um, Let's do this one. Oh, you know what? I love cooking stuff and baking, so let's do this one. And I can write stuff in it. I, there's nothing really that I want to write. Um, hmm. I'm going to leave it blank. But let's say you said uh, bake cookies for bake sale. So bake sale cookies or something. I don't know. Let's just insert. I wouldn't have that as a list, but look at that. And it puts a little bullet in there for you. Oh my gosh. Um, uh, what else? I don't know. Whatever else you want to do. Okay, so let's just say that we're good there. And now I want to print it. You can save it also if it's something that you always want. We can print it. Again, medium, thick, fine. Just depends on what you want there. It uses 0 0.05 meters of a strip here, and that's fine. So let's just print. If you're into bullet journaling or anything like that, this is really, really cute. Look at that. And then I guess I can show you the sticker. Well, I would also trim it down a little bit. It just sticks to wherever. So what I'm saying is this little rough edge, I would probably get my scissors or something else. I don't know what. And just make it a little neater. Super easy to use. I cannot believe Like, they did a very good program. I, mean, I like a good program. You guys know that. <laughs> um, let's do... Uh, let's try something else. Um, schedule. So the schedule is interesting because, um, okay, so they have all these different like, class schedule and it says class schedule on there, just like a little bear that's really cute. Um, the frame one, which is adorable. Let's just do a frame. How about this happy birthday? Um, what do you want to say? Love you lots. Isn't 
And then you can keep writing as you can see there, but I'm gonna, oopsie. How do I get rid of this? Um, no. Oh, I guess I just have to go to print at this point because <laughs> I can't get rid of the space, the bar here. There we go. I just pressed on it there and super cute. Love you lots. <laughs> and print and here it goes. So this is the kind of thing I would love to put, and for me, for my uses, like I do have my planner and all that, and I would probably print out some things for that, maybe color them in, but like this would be super cute to put like on an envelope when you send a card to somebody or on the outside of the package, because it is very good quality. Obviously the paper has that nice feel to it. Um, super cute, oh my gosh. And talking about um, envelopes, I wanna see about addressing a envelope or something. So let's see if we have something like that. Um, let's see, maybe under label workshop. Mm -hmm. Let's see, gift creation, name sticker, let's go to home, charging, storage, no. I'm gonna look around and see if I can find a um, an address label, but basically any of these things you can use it as, a, as an address label, to be honest, because you can just uh, mess with it. Like right here, if I just want to make my own thing, um, oh, they have a label setting, so you can set the length, the width, and how big you want that. So that's interesting. Okay. Um, let's insert text, and let's say... Nope, did I not get my V? Hold on, let's go back. VNA creates, and then enter... Um, one, two, three, four, street, <laughs> and any town, USA. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Uh, how about the font? What font do we want? Okay, here we go. Remember earlier, only one of the fonts really came up. Just a couple of them came up, so let's get closer. Um, let's try that one. It doesn't really have names on here, so I'm just picking one. Oh, <laughs> okay, good. An email or a text message came in from my husband and popped in there. Okay, and then we can underline it, italicize it, as you can see here. And what I want to do is, do they have centering? Well, actually, that's okay for an address label, huh? It's always used to the left. There's different points of font, maybe a little smaller. Let me see how that works. Nope. Okay, oh. So you can adjust that. Hopefully you can kind of see, there you go. And I wonder what this is. I don't think it's an option for me right now, is it? Oh, nice. Okay, so it kind of spreads out your lettering a little wider. The kerning, as we talk about. And what is this? Okay. Hmm, and that makes it up um, more spacing, your line spacing here, right? So your line spacing's here, your kerning of the letters there. And then, um, what's add? Oh, add is, I keep falling for that one, don't I? Okay, forget it. Let's go back to the keyboard. I don't want to add anymore. Okay. And then I want to maybe insert a sticker. Oh my gosh, this is adorable, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna flip through here and find something cute. Um, I think there was a little dude that, the little girl, that's cute. Um, hmm. How about one of these guys? Like this guy with the little crazy eyes. Okay. Oh, I want to show you an under insert sticker. Oh, well, I don't want to do it, but there's... Uh, yeah, well, that's it. I was just going to go through the different options. Now, hold on. Can we move this? Yep. Super easy. I'm telling you, this program is very, very intuitive. So all I did was press on it and I moved it to the left. I can throw it away. I can move it to the right back again. But I think this is good for me. Um, oh, you want to select a border too? Let's select the border. <laughs> and um, let's just make it simple. We'll just do this one since we already have a the little face and other things going on. And I'm done with that. And now I'm going to say print. And you can also save it. So if it's something that you like the address label the way it came out, you can use it always. And let's do a print. Oh my gosh, super cute. So thank you for Memo for saying this for my review. I definitely need to play around with it a little bit more as far as, um, you know, 
I mean, this is pretty good. I would maybe move this over just a little bit, but um, but that's pretty good. Thank you so much. So, you guys, the links will be there again for ten percent off their site. Um, if you use Amazon, there's also a, a code for ten percent off the Amazon store. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them here. But this thing is pretty straightforward. I mean, I didn't have to mess around that much, even within the iPad or the app, just to find it and all that good stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you would use something like this for and um, what ideas you might have. Look at that. Ready to go. Oh my gosh, you guys, and before I, I go, <laughs> I was ready to pack it up. I'm telling you, you know, it's really great. Um, I opened up the other packages. I totally forgot about these, and I told you that maybe some of them had um, colors or not. So this is a full pack of... Uh, white self-adhesive thermal paper, just like we just used, uh, the 25, um, actually this one's, uh, 50 millimeters is what it says, by three and a half. But this one here, uh, when I opened it up, I'm like, what is this? It has sticker fully transparent in thermal film, sticker gold powder thermal film, and red bottom with heart, with red hearts. Uh, this is 15 millimeter by three and a half, six rolls per box. So uh, they do have s different kits. You can also buy these just by themselves. So when I opened this, um, I didn't realize these are a bunch of just small strips, right? So I have not seen how to use these or anyone showing how to use these. So let's try it out. This will be the, uh, the part where it takes me to do this. Let me turn this off. I don't know if it has to be on to do this, but I'm going to pop it open. And we are going to remove the carrier. And I'm assuming we have to use all three rolls, because otherwise I don't know if it'll keep in place. So I'm going to take this off here, pull this out, and then you can always put your little piece of tape back on this to not let it roll off or unroll too much. But what I'm trying to say is I think these, it seems like they're wide enough. Let me see if they're wide enough that they all fit on here. Let me make sure this is going the right way. Right, because it needs to unroll a certain way. coming out from the bottom, right? I'm just trying to see if I need to have a certain amount of these for this to work, or if unless it just stays in place automatically. Let me see, two, three of these. I'm just putting all three of these, just it doesn't matter which ones, we're gonna print on the left, okay? That's what it seems like. And then again, line this up so that they're the same. I'm clipping it in here. And I'm putting all three just to keep it tight. I don't know if you have to do that, but that's what I did. Um, keep this over here. And again, just bring it to the front. And I'm going to close this up. Now I'm going to turn this on. And I'm going to basically do another address label. So you saw the other one. I cut it down, you know, and it worked that way. But let me show you. I'm going to hold this down for a second. Okay. Looks like it's ready to go. So again, I'm going to click on Label Workshop, and I'm going to make my own. So I'm going to say New, and this is where you select the width. So it was already set to 25 millimeter, which is the larger one. So now we're going to do 15. So that's much smaller. And I'm going to say OK. Really cute. Oh my gosh. So let's insert a sticker. Again, we'll do this kind of quickly. Sorry, I had a little sneeze. So I'm just going through all these. And let's just, uh, well, let's just do these little hearts. Why not? Okay. And then I'm going to insert text. Um, and let's say stickers. Like I'm going to put this on a box to organize some stuff. So I'm just saying stickers. And I'm going to say okay. And I'm just going to go print. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I connect to the device yet, but let's just say print. Yeah. I had to close this out. So whenever I came back, I had to still select the same little guy. It's already connected. And now let's say print. And again, you can set your thickness and stuff. Let's let's just say thick because we haven't done that yet. And let's print. And here it comes. So easy. Oh my gosh. I was kind of dreading this because I wasn't sure. Like I said, um, I haven't seen a video where to put it or even in the descriptions of the pictures on their website. It doesn't really have a lot um, showing them. It just shows the little pieces, but not really how it comes out of the machine. So here we go. And now you have a smaller label. So you can definitely use this oh, for your... Um, address labels or labeling items, right? So that way you don't waste your stuff. But you can also, like on this other one, when I did this one here, if you want to double up and also write something here, it'll print whatever you put on here. So, um, and then you can cut it and you can have two layers of 
whatever label if you have the the wider and not these smaller cute ones but so this one again it says stickers obviously it's a red background so it's a little bit harder to see the other backgrounds on here are completely clear and then a gold one so really cool really quick and easy to use um one other thing i did want to mention and i didn't really talk about too much um uh, was the um print images let me see if i can find an image on here that's not my kids <laughs> it says it would like to access your photos and i say okay and um it's been a long time since we accessed any photos okay oh let's do this one i think my son did a little picture of himself so let me back up a little bit and if you wanted to print this you can manipulate it you can crop uh the picture make it you know do whatever you want when i go to print it Actually, it's not going to work on this one because I have the, <laughs> the little strip in there. Um, when you go to print, it's going to print it out a picture in black and white. So even if it was a picture that you took out in nature of your friends or whoever, you're going to print it out on a sticker in black and white. So I think that's a really fun option. Um, again, you would just click print and have your picture printed out in black and white as a sticker. So, okay, <laughs> sorry for uh, stopping and coming back, but I totally uh, didn't notice that this came with some different type that you might have to um, know how to use. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, links will be in the description box, and I'll see you guys the next one. Bye now.